Yo, so we just got the update for the Xbox test server. We finna go over real quick. We got the patch notes right here. Let me see. Hello everyone, the PUBG test server has returned, although the past month has been slow. This week we're adding tons of new content. Um, scheduled July 10th, 10.30 p.m. to July 19th. Oh, is this the whole time? Okay. And then July 11th. July 10th for yesterday, though. Tripping. Ooh, so we got weapon damage balance. So they increase the damage of the pistols. Decrease the damage of the 5-5 five five weapons. Shotguns got a... They got a nerf, basically. DMRs, the ones that we don't use, got a buff. We got the SLR now. SKS got a nerf. SMGs got a buff. LMGs got a buff. So this is just basically talking about it. Um, pistols increase damage. Shotgun chokes and duck bills are now less effective at decreasing speed. Alright, increase limb shots, reduce pellet spread. You can add chokes to your sawed off now. You need to be at need to be at uh what's this shit called? Make you reload faster? I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> Adjust the SMGs to be more effective in short combat range. So before I read the rest of this, this is basically the PC update that they got mm, say a month ago. So this is the update that PC got a month ago when they decreased the five five level. So we're getting with it. okay, I get it. So we're getting that that old update they basically changed the whole game so we're getting that update eventually but right now it's on the test server so SMGs increase limb shots modifier slightly increase the damage of the UMP vector micro is okay decrease vertical recoil and scope sway ADS speed increase vectors more now it loops more uh, rebounds ARs to the best objective best the power Differential between each is not reduced, but each brings advantages to different situations. Slightly decrease the damage of the M16, Scar L, so all 5 5 weapons. Increase the reload time by 30%. That's going to be big, especially on the Scar L. You reload that jump real quick. Increase the reload for the AK by 10%, understandable. Increase vertical and horizontal recoil for all ARs except the AKM. If I'm not mistaken, AKM is going to be OP, especially on console. And you're going to need to throw in that vert grip for them scar. Well, you already got one on the scar, but damn, if you, I'm thinking about it. Sheesh. Are we getting the new um grips or no? I don't know. We'll find out. Restricted big scopes. It's been like that. Decreased recoil recovery rate for all ARs. That's stupid. Modified recoil animations for all ARs. Hmm? First shot included first shot after recoil resets for the M16 now has less recoil. Increase head body, oh that's the DMRs, increase head body and limb shot modifier, decrease the damage of the SKS, slightly increase the damage of the VSS mini. They increase the vertical and recoil for DMRs as well. Same recoil rate added. So yeah. Basically same shit. DMRs now use AR attachments along with sniper rifle attachments. Wasn't it like that from the start? Because you would have the vertical grip. But that's every. Hmm. Magazine compensator success. Oh! So I can throw in the AR comp on my DMR. That's tough. That's tough. Sniper rifles decrease the basic damage from the M24 from 88 to 79. That's a stupid nerf right there. That's 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 stupid. Uh, no. But M24 will no longer be dropped in a care package that spawns it. Oh, so I get it. They're trying to make it like the Car 98. So both sniper rifle quick draw magazines and sniper rifle extended quick draw magazines now only spawn in care packages. That's also stupid. Slightly increase the damage to the DP and the M249. Restrict the big scopes for the use of LMGs. I think it's been like that. I know you can put eight times on them, but not a 15. I don't know. Reduce crossbow reloading time. Weapon sway has been adjusted for all weapons. Slightly increasing side to side movement. And sway is now more pronounced when holding your breath. Weapon sway when moving is now also reduced by cheek pad attachment. Cheek pads now help you recover from weapon sway more quickly after moving. Level 3 helmets, yeah. Level 3 helmets are now in care packages. We reduce the spawn rate for AR extended cook jar magazine. I don't know why. 
Adrenaline syringes now respond rarely. Mm -hmm. Adjusting the casting time on the from eight seconds to six seconds. The tax stock and cheek power now less effective at a proven recoil recovery weight and now improves ABS speed. This is stupid. It's, that's the whole point of having a tax stock and a cheek pad. You would need that. They took that out, gave you ADS. That's stupid. Retarded. SLR. This is what I'm excited for. I want to use this gun. I'm waiting for the test server to download right now so I can use this gun. New weapon. Added the SLR. The SLR spawns beside normal world loot. It's a DMR which uses 7.6 ammo and contains 10 bullet per magazine. 20 bullets when extended. The SLR is more powerful than the SKS but has more recoil. Recoil control is key to using the SLR effectively. New vehicle. I don't know that picture. The Murado is a classic muscle car. Oh, that's that picture that they posted. Um, let me see if I can find it for you guys. I forgot this guy's name. It's like Nick. So I just followed him. Literally. This is my Twitter, guys. You guys should follow me. Where is it? Um, shit. That's on this guy's. Where is it? Yeah, here it is right here. That's the new, um, it's a four seater, is it? It's a four seat sedan. Okay. It can be found around downtown areas and main city streets. Think of the Murata as a complement to other unique vehicles on Myanmar. The van is extremely sturdy but slow and ineffective when taking off road. The pickup is great for off road travel and the Murata is fastest way to blaze down the highway. New attachments. So, oh, so we are getting the attachments. This is lit. This is lit as fuck. We got the duck bill. New attachments for shotguns. It decreases vertical pellet speed, but increases horizontal bullet speed. Spread attachable to, to the shotguns. I don't know. How to, I don't feel like saying that shit. Light grip. It decreases first shot slash single shot recoil by about 15%. Animation kick reduction has been changed to 20% from 30%. Attachable on all the ARs, SMGs, and DMRs, I guess. Some of them, you know, the ones that take attachments. Thumb grit, it reduces vertical recoil, but increases horizontal recoil, and it it increases horizontal recoil. Um, okay. But it also increases the recoil recovery time. So it's basically like your attack stop for your M4. Half grit, it reduces vertical and horizontal recoil. It also re reduces recoil recovery time. Sounds like the best fucking attachment right there. This scope has fixed 3x magnification with a illuminated reticle. It is discovered as a common word drop. The scope has available 3, 3x to 6x magnification. It's discovered as a rare world drop. Improvement have been made to throwables, frag grenades, stun grenades, and molotovs. Frag grenade increased from 12 to 18. Oh, weight changes. Hmm, that is, what? Why do you increase weight on a, that's dumb. Increased frag grenade damage from effective range. Stun grenades, blinding effects have been improved. First, let's experience some turns, direct effect. There's the final stun grenade. Uh, direct effect. So that's how they put it so it's basically, if you get hit with it, you can't see if it's far away, you just can't hear, I guess. Molotovs are now basically OP for Sandhawk, I believe, and maybe um, Erangel. If you throw them in the building, it basically burns the whole floor, which is good for campers. A lot of people camp on Xbox. Character movement. We slightly decrease the movement speed when holding s sniper rifles and LMGs and shotguns. You're equipped to weapon effects, both your sprinting speed and your running speed. Okay, that's... Interesting. You remove the first shot delay when your character is not sprinting. Chambering a new round of certain weapons no longer limits you to walking speed while aiming down sights. The amount your camera shakes after being shot now depends on the amount of damage received. Received. Boat and swimming adjust adjustments. Boats now sink when destroyed. That's a cool animation. We've made some adjustments to the way swimming routes works for to reduce the effectiveness of hiding underwater. We decrease the maximum. I don't know that word. Time from 35 to 15 seconds. Once you run out of air, you will take 10 damage per second. Okay, we decrease the delay from over at the time. This is amazing. We can change our rectangle now. I'm so excited to play this. I am so excited for this patch. I've been waiting for this patch so long. You guys can read this for yourself. Pause the video. I don't feel like going over it. If you haven't seen PC gameplay already, you should know. 
Um, performance we improve the character model rendering process to prevent some small frame drop issues. We optimize character movement and animation by skydiving to improve frame rate when multiple players are nearby. We made some improvements to our network code to reduce network la latency. Character data calculator radius has been reduced to increase server and client performance. Bike animations have been optimized. Scoping has been optimized. Frame rate should no longer decrease when scoping at first. Okay. Asset slash building loading in Myanmar has been optimized. Yeah, that's a big, big optimization for that. What the fuck? Smoke effect, smoke grenade care package, etc. has been optimized. Well, thank everyone who participates in the PTS in advance for helping us to make this game better. We'll start on working on fixes as soon as they are found. So please re report with detail. So far, my overall thoughts of this update is pretty balanced. They're making the game better. Only thing they should be really working on instead of trying to add all of this shit is just work on the frame rate, work on the rendering. This game would be fine. I'm telling you, you work on the frame rate, frame rate and rendering, this game will be good. Everyone will love it. There'd be no complaints. People will still play this game because it's PUBG, but people complain all the time because they're rendering. You don't know how many fights I've got in where a gun has it loaded in for me, it's loaded in for him, and he picks it up and he's shooting at me, and I'm trying to run away. I'm just going. It's aggravating. I can't find a gun, but this update is going to be major. I advise you guys to all hop on the test server, try it out, see how you like it. I also advise you guys to subscribe. YouTube channel is right here. Right now, we're at 644. Shooting for 650, say two weeks. I'm grinding out, uploading videos, you see, trying to get out there. I advise you guys to follow me on Twitter. Those are where updates are at. Know when I'm streaming streaming right here right now I'm currently offline after this video goes up I will be streaming so yeah follow me on Twitch I mean follow me on Twitter for updates and that's the test server hope you guys enjoyed the video